What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today, and we are doing our London Bulldogs off-season video slash stream. And I say slash stream because at the point of recording this, we are live on twitch.tv slash Jerome Care, about to make some crazy plays. Probably not, but hopefully we land at least one hidden or at least some athletic freak, as this team kind of needs everything. But the main thing we are lacking definitely definitely is speed remember this is a team that you know free agents probably won't want to join so maybe we can get lucky with some older player that's talented i'm not sure the main thing though is who are we gonna lose to free agency slash retirement that's that's the main question i think with johnny manzel you have to try and bring him back from the grave jordan love was the mvp sweet no one cares uh let's see if there's any draft stories we might have missed some so ray ware was the heisman winner Curtis Buckshank was the, I don't know. And then Wilson thinks his success. Okay. So Curtis Buckshank, Wilson. I don't know how I'm supposed to, supposed to figure that out. So Clemson and Wilson and then Ray Ware. Ray Ware may have been one of those top tier dudes. I mean, he is a Heisman winner. You would expect it. Ray Ware. Ray, where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. Left outside linebacker. Mid first. I mean, linebacker is not even the biggest need on the team. What was the other guy? I've already forgot. Like, something about shanking. Shank? Hello? Shank and Wilson. Why can't I go by, like, school? Pittsburgh? No. Oh, my. This is going to be... Uh, this is going to be some sort of challenge for me to try to figure this out. Quarterback, maybe? One of them? Oh, speaking of quarterback. Yikes. Mid first. I mean, okay, this is actually a long process because I don't have anyone on our list at this point. Like we have some, you know, we have some good players scouted. We just don't have a definite player. This is the guy, the lineman. We need linemen. I will take you. Thank you. We definitely got to go with him. Saxton. Where's the, uh, what was the other guy named? Shank? Probably a defender, right? Oh, there he is. A left outside linebacker, pass rusher. Maybe we take him as well. I don't know. Are we just going to go for the, the, the news stories? All right, so the winner of the Super Bowl was the Arizona Cardinals over the Houston Texans. That's good. We gotta, you got to keep those Texans down a notch. You don't want them having the, the nod up on us. So there's a very good chance we do draft a quarterback. However, Jonathan Manziel wants a three-year deal worth 11 mil. He gets a three-year deal worth 11 mil. Uh... Donald De La Hay, obviously we're going to give him a five-year... Did we just, like, forget to re-sign people, by the way? I feel like we just forgot to re-sign people. Malik Reed. Malik these balls. <laughs> what? Uh, Pat McAfee wants to stay. Hey, welcome back. Going to give him a two-year deal. Cam, see you later, dude. Shepley, no. Brewer, no. He was injured, like, every second anyways. No to you. Rush. Rush, 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 rush. Maybe. Nah, I'm going to let him go as well. Callaway, no thank you. Luvu was okay, but meh. Malik Reed, how much XP per upgrade? 9,300. That's not bad. So who do we have right now? Is it just... Is it just Parsons? Parsons. So Malik Reed. Who? let's take a look. Let's take a look at Malik Reed. He wants a... How much was it? A four-year 21. His traits are spin, swim... I mean, we definitely want to go for one of those pass rushers, and this kind of would screw us because we'd be stuck with him. Now nah, I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let him go. We're going to let Malik Reed go, but there is a chance we re-sign him. Okay? You know, just uh, we'll, we'll chill for now. If you guys out there want us to have the best chance to have a good draft in offseason, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. Second channel, PK Plays. That's the main thing I would like for people to subscribe to, though. That's... That's like the absolute win. So T Higgins, definitely a guy that I would feel would join our team. But how many like stick in the muds do we need? Or sticks in the mud, I suppose would be the wording. Mike Hughes, another former, I believe, Minnesota Viking. A little on the slower side, but another really solid player. Uh, Hill. Wait, do we check DevOps? Wait, Hill didn't have Superstar, right? He was just regular star, wasn't he? I think we did forget to check DevOps, didn't we? Holden Hill Superstar Dev! Oh my god! Fortnite! <laughs> Earl Gilchrist, Superstar Development Trait. Duvall already had Star. Marvell, I think, just got to Star. Yeah, he's, he's kind of slow. Interesting. Nice. 
Uh, as far as offensively goes, obviously Dylan goes to star. Bush, he already he, did he already have star? Pro Bowl. Oh, yeah. For some reason, he got the star dev on the Pro Bowl, which makes no sense. <laughs> uh, Calvin Johnson appears to be gone. He retired. No. Of course, Parham, he does have uh, Superstar X Factor. Double me. Let's see what else he has. Grab and smash. Yak him up. I think max security could be the way to go, but double me works too because he's really good. Offensive line, Mylotta, Howard. Okay, so we definitely need offensive linemen. We're definitely going to go for that one guy. So Manziel probably should go to star, right? He, I mean, it's weird because development trait reflects to how fast they are at deving, but at the same time, it also defends regression. Manziel definitely came back as high and strong as you can, so star development works. We have a lot of positions to fill, so let's go to the free agency period and see if there's anyone here that makes sense or, you know, would, I guess, just sign in general. So strong safety is a need. I absolutely do not want Cam Chancellor to return. Deontay Thompson. Damn, he's a lot slower than I thought. Welcome to the team. Perfect fit. We're slow. We don't have much uh, upside. Just like the guy we're just uh, about to sign. He could potentially play corner. I'm going to offer him too. So we may offer a few of these like low ball, like low potential, low potential guys. But they, I mean, they're okay. If you don't get your handsome self out of you. Nasir Adderley. Actually, he's really good too. Nasir Adderley could be a, a starting strong safety for us. What about Brooks though? How slow slash fast is Brooks? Gino Stone? Josiah Scott is a guy I'm going to be offering a two-year deal to. Ooh, Albert. I know this will be a fun one. Four-year deal? Nah, I'll go three-year. Uh, Justin. Holy crap, he's really good. Really good. Wow, he is really solid. Why does... What? What did they do to my man? All right, going to week two of free agency or the off season. Not only do we get to see who we got, but also we get to see the combine grades, which is easily the most fun of any franchise ever. Uh, and we do get a couple. We already see a few names I'm really happy to get. Uh, Clavon Chason, definitely a huge upgrade at pass rusher. Super, super fast when you compare him to Malik Reed. Scotty Miller, super, super fast when you compare him to anyone on this roster at all. <laughs> Bryce Hall, 70 overall, not bad. Uh, Malik Jefferson, maybe gets some burn, not a bad backup. Uh, we get Thompson, who could be a projected starter. I think we may give the nod to uh, Robinson, though. Uh, as far as uh, linebacker goes, Kaliki Hudson is a plug-and-play starter day one, at least the number two guy right behind Gilchrist, who is really solid. We end up getting Josiah Scott, a nice 5'9 fast uh, cornerback, slot cornerback. We get Justice Hill, who's kind of a hybrid type, mainly elusive style, but decently young. We get Wilson, who is definitely nice. And then Albert O, who is easily my favorite signing of all of these players. And then another safety, Julian Love. Oh, do ya? I love filler videos. What you got in store for me, buddy? What if you put every Sim God together as a team? I don't know if there's really, like, a necessary... Did we get everyone? I think we got literally everyone. Is there actually a Sim God this Madden? Like, other than, like, the quarterbacks, the running backs, me? Like, like Zeke? Like, you gotta give me a list. You gotta give me a list. All right, so we might have to slap these players in just so we know what we actually need. Peterson. Interesting. I kind of wish he didn't actually retire. I assume he actually retired in our league here. Looking at wide receiver, what we need. So, uh, ironically enough, our best receivers right now are a combined height. Well, I mean, that's not really how it works, but a, an average height of 5'9". Uh, we do have uh, a certain somebody that made the conversion. Just saying, made a conversion over to a certain position. Derek King, he's only 5'11", but look at him go. Could be uh, a potential... Wide receiver starter for us. Let's actually clear out some of our uh, our players as well. We got to get rid of some of these guys. There's players that are, even for us, too, wor too bad to play. John Meadows, 6.3 looks good. B, like a 4.5. I'll trade up everything for him. 4.61. Man, 
How high can you go, though? Like, that's a top 10 pick, right? That's probably a top 10 pick. I really want John Meadows. Caleb Bird's not bad either. He's decently fast. Oh, they're all fast. I mean, this guy's not very fast. So hopefully everyone is there. Vernon can... I don't care, dude. Vernon can do whatever you want. As far as the other guys go, I suppose we'll slap him on the list because he does have a fast 40. I mean, if you're going to get down to the nitty-gritty down here, you might as well get someone this fast if you're going to develop him. I thought I said far of us. Like, oh, we got ourselves a man. It'd be nice to get like a six foot two, four four five. That would just be... I mean, it's not asking for too much. Just, I'm just saying. It's not asking for that much, is it? It's a, it's a pretty fair asking price. 5'9", of course he is. Man, there's too many good players here. I want to trade up for a quarterback, but at the same time, I feel like we kind of have to just let it happen, right? Like, I just... There's so many other players and other positions we need that are that are going to be there. And we won't, ha we won't be there if we trade up. Peter Rogers. What a name. That definitely sounds like a neighbor that would definitely, like, assault your child or something. Peter Rogers... Peter file. I knew it. Buckshank. We really should not have went for uh, Clayson, did we? Or Clayvon, Chason. Okay, we know what we're going to do. We're uh, going to hope for the damn freaking quarterback. So, of course, quarterback is the number one thing on the knee. We signed Manziel to a three-year, but it was only 11 mil. So, you know, it's not that big of a, of a thing. Meadows is our number one guy on the board. However, there's some other guys that are very fast as well, uh, but none of them as fast as Meadows. I'm really hoping Meadows is normal because I'm pretty sure the AI does have the cheese. I'm almost certain the AI does know who is the best uh, based on dev. And looking straight up, outside of the combine, Meadows does look like the worst quarterback. Vernon looks like a bona fide thug. Fast enough to get the job done, maybe like an Andrew Luck-ish type. Really good throw power, short and medium are sick. But I want Meadows for that speed. 4-6-1 isn't blazing fast, but it's obviously more than enough to get done. I'm going to put the two fast guys together. We're going to see how much the AI is going to screw us. Please don't be a quarterback right out of the gate. Oh, no. Frank Bryan. Which one was that? Of all the quarterbacks they went with, they went with my last choice guy. Like, I would have had... No, maybe I wouldn't have Caleb Bird. I think, I think Frank was actually the second fastest. 76 overall, please. Trent Kuhn. Okay. Relax on the quarterback selection. Some really nice players coming off the board here. Uh, so far, we have two quarterbacks. Ooh, the Patriots. Thomas Vernon. These are some names. This is where real life you would see guys jumping up the board left and right. Let's take a look. So we have the we have the Jets, Dolphins, Broncos, Chiefs. Jets, Dolphins, Broncos, Chiefs. Chiefs, maybe, maybe. Dolphins, no. Jets, definitely. And then the Broncos, who I passed up. Ooh, Broncos. So we'd have to go to the Dolphins. Is that enough to do it? It is. And based off of projections, I think for them to accept that in real life... Like, let's say they project 33. I'd project 45 and 116. If you were to give that 45 this year, we would be 62 points ahead of them. So I think it's close enough. It's pretty damn close. Let's do it. I mean, I mean we already did it, but... <laughs> Here it is. We have one choice and one choice only. It is a quarterback. Don't get me wrong. I like Caleb Bird. He actually does look pretty good. But you got to go for the combine grade, right? I'm projecting normal. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to project normal. But as long as he's like 86 plus speed, I'll be happy. John Meadows, he is normal. Here's the moment of truth. Please. Oh, we, we cooking, boys. We cooking. That is a good quarterback, my guy. Oh, I didn't pay attention to injury. Injury 88. Toughness scares me a little bit. Really, really fast. Good stamina. Look at the juke move. 87 juke move. This is the future. Don't tell me our guy would have been here still because Caleb Bird's still there. Oh, no. Lucas Wilson, mid-third round draft pick. They talked about him being up and up on the boards. Looks really good. Even if he wasn't on the boards, this is still probably a good pick. Give us hidden. Ah! Sorry for yelling. Um, linemen are just impossible to draft. 
they are just literally impossible to draft. And Buckshank was still there. Aiken, decent three cone. Obviously a very solid 40 yard for a six foot five guy. As far as his actual 40 compared to his weight and height goes, he's probably number one in the class. And then 20 yard shuttle, meh. Hit in, please. Wow. 69. This is a random player. Now, don't get me wrong. You could definitely work with this guy. He definitely has development chance. But the 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 speed ratings, all that, it does not reflect the combine at all. He had a 23rd rank uh, 20 yard. His agility should be like 86 or something. EA just said, you can take what you want with this one. As far as the third round pick go, goes, though, not terrible. The real loss is that we had to trade up for him. It's not the fact that, you know, he is what he is, but... He was definitely supposed to be a lot faster than that. At the very minimum, his agility should have sucked, which obviously would have hurt us more, but I would say he should have been 92 speed, 88, 89 agility with like 86, uh, or no, 88, 89 excel with 86 agility, but instead he just had some random freaking ratings. Is there anything else? So we have a combine skipper, which doesn't guarantee anything, doesn't really fit what we need, so I'm just going to take him off the board right now. Uh, center is a need. What was his rank? 5.9 grade. I mean, it's all just speculation. It's all randomized. This guy is definitely Peter Rogers. I already know that he's a Peter file. So Nolan Baker, who was the guy I wanted the most out of the wide receivers that were left is still there. I want flowers more than moon. I think oh, I definitely do. I think we should trade up for Flowers. I think that's the biggest need. All right, another trade up. Next year's draft is going to suck. We Honestly, at this rate, we may not even stream next offseason. That's how bad our draft class is. But whatever, man. Flowers, a DT is needed. Very good tackling, very good block shedding potentials. Young, super strong. You can't go wrong at all. Ooh, steal. 74 overall normal development trade. Decently fast for his strength. And nice. Injury's a little low. Honestly, do we start... Like, I'm always going to have people crying. They're always going to be like, Oh, but you didn't raise the other guy. If a guy had 40 bench press reps in real life, he's getting at minimum a 96 uh, strength grade. Maybe higher. Maybe higher. This should be fair. Here we go. Another trade up. Oh, man. I was going to be done trading up a while ago, and I never did. Peter Rogers, let's get lucky. We did not get lucky. He's okay, but yeah, no hit in. He's just not good. And Wilbur is there. The other guy was a little bit faster, a little bit better, but Lucas Wilbur, worth the pick. 61 overall, 21 years of age. Got some speed on him. Decent catching for a linebacker. Great injury and stamina. Okay toughness. Not a bad pick. 83 hit power on top of it, so I'm fine with that pick. Who was the best of the quarterbacks and who was the worst? So, number one overall, Frank Bryan, decently fast himself, was hidden. Obviously, no chance in hell we were going to get him. Injury, stamina, and toughness are pretty garbage, though. Definitely not as good of a scrambler as the guy we did get. So, there's that. There's that. Let's see what his development was. Star development. So, okay, nothing special. I think Vernon will definitely have better dev than that. 78 overall, hidden. 23 years old to the freaking Patriots. Andrew Luck almost clone, a little bit slower than him. Look at how good he is, though. I I projected X Factor here, but let's take a look. Let's take a look. X Factor. It is. Wow. What a pick for New England at number seven. I think it was still the best choice for us to wait, though, because at the end of the day, we didn't know how high these guys would go. We had to save as much draft capital as we could with all the needs we've had. Now, where is Bird? So, Bird... Oh, somebody went ahead of Bird. Gregory Hahn. I didn't even know this guy was good. This was one of the red guys. So, when people say, you know, don't draft red talents, that's a pretty good pick for red. And here goes Mr. Caleb Bird, also normal. So, yeah. I don't know if Meadows would have been able to be there as long as Bird. I don't think he would have been. And thankfully, we took what we did because Meadows is 10 times better. 10 times better than him. Was there another player we missed? We had a choice out and we just chose not to. I don't know. Actually, let's take a look at some of the guys that are on the uh, the talk about crap. So Ray Ware, super slow, like a like a Malik Reed clone. <laughs> Probably gonna be superstar though, maybe better. Ray Ware, no star only. All right, second rounder, 
how much are we going to regret not taking Buckshank or whatever the hell his damn name is? So 73 overall, Buckshank, hidden developments. Uh, he is kind of on the undersized lit. What the hell? I thought he was a pass rusher. I guess he's not. Oh, you got to go, Horse Aliens. Appreciate you, my dude. Enjoy your night. Buckshank was Superstar. A lot of the Heismans are Superstar, so it doesn't, doesn't really surprise me there. And I don't think there was anything else that we missed. Actually, I want to take a look at that that wide receiver, Baker. There he is, Nolan Baker to the Seahawks. Of course, he was hidden. Uh, no shocker there. Can't wait till we just passed on a, uh, a Superstar X Factor. Superstar! Yay! Interesting. So, right guard, Bird. Should we just give all these guys, like, star? Be back in the butt. Perkins to the, the Viking. I mean, look at all. Like, you can't do anything with these. Start Elf. Start Elf? What's Delve? I know not every lineman's hidden, but, I mean, you're putting all of this money or all these, you know, this capital into a lineman that has pretty much no chance to dead. Simply put, did I miss anyone? Carry, we just did. We'll do the first two rounds, I suppose. Okay, that's just a straight up bust. That guy sucks. Let's change him to star. Yeah, we'll, we'll make all the first two round guys star. Maybe we won't do that every time, but in this one, I don't mind doing it. All right, Wilson. I mean, Wilson looked good. I think he deserves star. Honestly, he deserves X Factor, but still. Sorry for the delay on this one. I was going to wait for the preseason and combine the two, but the preseason actually took quite a bit of time and the video would be like at least an hour long. And I feel like I want as many people that haven't started watching this series to watch this. And the off-season videos is probably a good starting point, so they might be a little intimidated by seeing an hour-long video for the off-season, technically preseason involved. So we're going to leave it there for this one, but to make up for it, quote-unquote, I'm going to do the preseason video tomorrow, and then maybe on Monday we'll start with week one, maybe Tuesday, one of the two. But anyways, as always, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. We do a ton of franchise stuff. Maybe check out the second channel, PK Place, which is where we'll have an upload tonight and most likely tomorrow night. Twitch.tv slash Trump where we actually live stream this in the preseason. And then, of course, Twitter.com slash Trump for me tweeting about non modern stuff. You know, a little refreshing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!